Hello there, friends, and welcome back to more Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Last time, we checked out the Tilt and Roll Kirby minigame back at Waddle Dee Town. We checked out even more treasure roads here in Original Wasteland, and we completed the stage, Moonlight Canyon, and opened our way up to the boss in the stage, Collector in the Sleepless Valley. This time, we're going to be finishing out all of the treasure roads here in Original Wasteland, including the secret ones that I have yet to unlock. Uh, we'll be upgrading some more copy abilities, and we'll be finishing out the boss here in Original Wasteland. The first secret treasure road in Original Wasteland can be found in this oasis, uh, which is in kind of like this little crevice in the top left corner of the map. Alright, let's see which one it is. It is... Water Balloon Mouth Treasure. Alright, we'll come back to this one in a second. The next hidden treasure road can be found on top of this lighthouse looking down at the southeast corner of Original Wasteland. And this one has the Scissor Lift Mouth Treasure. So as you can see up here, there is a locked treasure road, the Buzzsaw Cutter Treasure. So I think that means we should go back to Waddle Dee Town and check out our upgrades once more. Back at the upgrades shop, we have we need to upgrade the cutter ability. But I'm also going to be upgrading the hammer ability, and I think that'll actually be it for right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade these two copy abilities. First up on the list is Buzzsaw Cutter Blueprint. Three attack power and three rapid fire. A definite improvement over the other two copy abilities. This one is a godsend. Kirby now has a, cha a buzzsaw plus a can opener on his head. Very, very cute. I like this design. Buzzsaw Kirby is quite the formidable copy ability. Um, on its own, it's de it has decent damage and also can ricochet off walls, creating this kind of chaos. It's very, very, very destructive. But where it really shines is in its charged attack. It does an immense amount of damage and can uh, be used for some devastating mind games on your opponents. And it also ricochets. So, really cool ability. This is easily my favorite of the three cutter copy abilities. You will definitely hear me singing this one's praise. Except for its treasure roads, which we'll definitely get to here very very soon. Next up on the list is the Wild Hammer Blueprint. Four and a half attack power but one rapid fire. So similar to the regular hammer. Kirby is now wielding a giant rock on a stick and has uh, what looks to be like a wolf's pelt as his cap. Definitely not uh, threatening at all and is back to his fairly standard regular hammer charge attack with, with just one big fire swing as his primary charge attack. Wild Hammer is very, very powerful, very strong uh, in exchange for a lot of its speed. Um, this is a copy ability that I'm really not a huge fan of. Uh, primarily for its regular attack just being way too slow for my liking. I like its charge attack, but other than that, this is, without a doubt, probably the one copy ability in this game that I think is outclassed by its previous by its predecessors. That doesn't mean I won't use it. In fact, I'm actually going to be using it later in this episode to deal with the boss, but I definitely would prefer to use the previous iterations of this copy ability um, before, because I prefer its playstyles. As per tradition, here is the Wild Hammer's description. This hefty hammer is made from super tough stone. It's too heavy for quick hits, but each powerful swing will deal explosive damage. You'll even crack the ground itself. And Buzzsaw Cutter's uh, description reads, What's the buzz, cuz? This cutter evolution has increased power and flying distance. 
it'll also ricochet off walls, so aim carefully to send it extra far. Clink, clank, and buzz. Now that those copy abilities are out of the way, let's deal with these four treasure roads. Starting off with the Scissor Lift Mouth Treasure. Stretch and collect Scissor Lift Road. We got one minute to make meet. Alright, so we need to grab the scissor lift and then quickly begin collecting these uh, red crystal shards. Grab this one first. Duck under. Uh, beat up the Bronto Burks. Get rid of the scissor lift and swap to a new one. This one's all about quick timing and making sure that you manage your time on each scissor lift well and not getting stunned a lot like I normally do with this copy ability. Um, but don't get too over, you know, don't get too excited because you don't want to just be rushing through everything and getting hit by unnecessary things that you uh, normally wouldn't be. That was very close right there. Boost up. Like that. I didn't want to get hit by that. I thought I was going to have enough time, but I got a little cocky there. I'm going to not risk that and just go, go, go when I got the chance. These bouncies in my way. I'm just going to kind of take the hit there. I think I've got a little bit more time, so I should be okay on my window of time. Wait here. There we go. Under the portal I go. Boom, boom, bang. 54 seconds. Yeah, I had quite a bit of time there. Next up on the list is the Buzzsaw Cutter Treasure. Off the wall, ricochet switches. Our target time is 1 minute 30. This is a little fickle uh, with, how, with how the detection of the buzzsaw works. We have to make these buzzsaws fit through these small little crevices in order to ricochet to these buttons. Sometimes the buzzsaws just don't want to cooperate and they just don't work. Um, so you have to be very certain with your placement of the buzz saws or else it just will not recognize where you want it to go and just won't either will either not fit through the hole or just won't go the direction you want it to go so here we need to press a switch to change the direction of these uh, panels in order to make sure that we can actually hit these uh, fences or well, these buttons across the fence once, we hit, well, once we've hit all of them, we can move on. Not too bad. Okay, so now we are going to step on this button and hopefully get ourselves a button hit with this. There we go, there's one down. So let's now... Okay, I'm losing myself a bit here. Alright, so let's hit this one now. That should be able to get that last one. Okay. Okay, and then this last one. I uh, can't seem to figure out how to get this one to go. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. Alright. Launch this one down there. Oh, it didn't make it in time. Yep, sometimes it can be a little fickle like that. There we go. All right. Yeah, I think I waited too long on on that one. I don't think I made that one in time. But we'll see. One minute 55. Yeah, I spent way too much time on that last segment. I always get very lost on that one. So I'll see you guys back for whenever I meet the target time. I don't know if I did that in the time frame. 
115? 130. Yes, okay. Oh, I cannot begin to tell you how much I hate that treasure road. It's so finicky and clunky, but I'm so glad it's over. Alright, next up is Frosty Ice Treasure. Freezing Fight. Frosty Ice Trial. We got a minute 30 to take down. Okay, it looks like this one's going to be a bit of a... Uh, just an enemy-focused treasure road. Um, we're gonna be... It's mostly gonna be focused on probably just utilizing the Mr. Frosty Snowman in order to deal most of our damage. Um, obviously, we can get in, in on the action ourselves if we decide to jump in. Um, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is just setting our... Mr. Frosty Snowman uh, down these kind of grates and dealing with enemies as they come. Last up, but not least, is Mr. Frosty himself, or Wild Frosty, I guess. We're just going to spam attacks on him. He himself uh, can be frozen, so just keep attacking him and you'll eventually you'll just kind of slow down. And there we go. Well, Frosty down. Get ourselves our tre treasure road complete. 129.69. Had just a little under a second left to go for that one. And finally on our list of treasure roads is Water Balloon Mouth Treasure. Wash them away, Slippery Parade. We've got a minute 20 target time for this one. Alright, this one's primarily about taking down these runaway parade trains and the star rockets. We've gotta take down, we gotta clear the way of this mud as well so we don't slow down or take damage. Uh, we can reload our mouthful mode right here. It will stop the timer, thankfully, so we don't really have to worry about losing time on refilling our ammo, which is really nice. Very thoughtful though. There's this button right here that will give the parade trains kind of a uh, grate to walk on. So we have the time to make sure we have to time it to make sure that these parade trains uh, stood on the platforms instead of falling or getting killed by it. Break these machines, destroy these gibbons. Okay, let's refill. Okay, so the next major puzzle is making sure that these freight trains can get to their uh, get to the blocks safely. So press the button to at uh, the right time to make sure that they get around safely. Hard time is minute twenty. What's this? Oh, I need I need to refill my ammo. There we go. Let's press this first. And once they're passed, press it again. And then again. And then one last time. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. We're good. Alright. That was a little close, but I think we might have done it. Minute 35, minute 20. Yeah, okay, so I actually missed a lot of time there. I think due to me running around trying to reload too often. So I'll see you back whenever I've completed it.
All right, nice. I did that in a, with a lot more time to spare. Instead of nine seconds, I had 30 seconds to spare. So yeah, that was done way better. All right, as you can see, um, I went and grabbed that pack up from the Waddleby item shop uh, for this boss specifically. I think it'll be very helpful. So, let's begin the stage, Collector in the Sleepless Valley. One of the objectives of this stage is to complete with the hammer copy ability, so I came prepared. But just in case you don't want to use the hammer copy ability, there are obviously some copy abilities here that you can use. Hammer is one of them, bomb is another, and needle is the third. There's a nice little wanted poster here that I can take down. It's not part of the missions, but it's something that I can do. In fact, there's a lot of wanted posters. I can take down the majority of them, but not all of them, unfortunately. Take down a few. I don't really like how they depict Kirby. Looks like looks a little too chubby for his liking. But anyway, here we go. Armor-plated Prancer, Silly Dillo. First off, let's take down these props right here. Silly Dillo, Silly Dillo likes to attack up close. So, we're going to give him the fight that he wants. Dodge his attack. Oh, oh, okay. Didn't dodge his attack just right. So, if you get caught in that cage, you have to wiggle your way out. Like that. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I've already messed up one of the objectives, which is to take no damage. But, we'll see what we can do. Okay, now that we're down here, let's charge up, do some damage. He's going to back up. And the primary gimmick of this fight is the fact that it teaches you to dodge roll bosses. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Dodge roll whenever he gets close. And whenever he's down on his shell, charge up an attack. And deal as much damage to him, to him as you can. Whenever we get our third, or whenever we get our second phase transition into phase three, get to the middle of the arena. And uh, get ready to dodge spam a ton. Silly Dillo and his fake Silly Dillo will now begin spinning as a duet. Just make sure to crazy, a uh, crazy dodge spam, and you will be fine. He'll begin to fling his partners around, do si do. Uh, don't use this time to attack just yet. Wait for him to begin rolling on his own. Dodge three times again. And then you'll have, you'll have a free window of opportunity to do more damage. Thanks to the attack bonus, Dilla Dillo goes down in not much time at all. And for our troubles, we obtain another blueprint. The Blizzard Ice Blueprint, the final tier of the Ice Copy ability. All right, here we go. Unfortunately, I was unable to clear without taking any damage because of my greed, but that's okay. We'll come back and deal with that at a later date. But for the time being... Back to Waddle Dee Town we go. Gotcha Machine Volume 3 is now available. There's another new set of figures to collect. And we get the Blizzard Ice Blueprint. So, before I leave for this episode, why? how about we go ahead and check and see what is uh, lying for us up next in the world map.
next time on Kirby in the Forgotten Land, we will be tackling the Redgar Forbidden Lands. We found a new area. Poor captured Elflin must be further ahead. Hope you're okay out there, Elflin. We'll be finishing up the Silly Dillo uh, No Hit Run, and we'll begin entering the Fiery Forbidden Lands. So with that, I'll see you soon.